Pokemon Legends ZA describes itself as an ambitious new entry to the Pokemon video game series and is set to release in 2025, but what else do we know about this new title? Well, let's start with the obvious points. Pokemon Legends ZA is a continuation of the Pokemon Legends series, which started in early 2022 with the release of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Despite Legends Arceus being released alongside the Diamond and Pearl remakes, Legends ZA is currently on track to be a standalone release. With the amazing reception from the first Legends title, it's possible that Game Freak are a lot more confident in the new game's ability to stand on its own. Legends ZA takes place entirely within the Kalos region's Lumio City, first introduced in 2013's Pokemon X and Y. The trailer hints towards the main aspect of gameplay, the urban redevelopment plan of the aforementioned city, in which the player is urged to shape the city into a place that belongs to both people and Pokemon. To go back to an earlier point, uh, Legend ZA was in fact confirmed to take place entirely within Lumio City. A short while after the trailer was shown for the first time, Nintendo of America made a post on Twitter describing the title as a new adventure set entirely within Lumio City. This caused a few arguments online, with a lot of fans of the series claiming that Lumio City wouldn't be large enough to host the entire game. Although it may seem obvious to some, it's worth pointing out that this is a much larger and much more detailed version of Lumio City compared to its first appearance over a decade ago. Compared to Pokemon X and Y's handful of cafes and restaurants, it seems the version of Lumio City designed for the Nintendo Switch is much more detailed. From the trailer, we can see that the five plazas have been entirely redesigned, with each of them being distinct from the others. There are also countless new houses, streets, parks, buildings, and likely a lot more we can't see yet. There are even new vertical levels added too, so I imagine the size of Lumio City won't be much of an issue for gameplay. Another good comparison to make is the main hub for the previous Legends title, Jubilife Village. Although it's not quite large enough to be the sole setting for the game, it's much larger than Diamond and Pearl's Jubilife City. One of the main factors for this being the two games' distinct divergence in art style and gameplay. Diamond and Pearl are a tile-based game with a top-down view developed for the Nintendo DS, whereas Legends Arceus is an open world title with a freely moving camera developed for the Nintendo Switch. With Jubilife's changes from Diamond and Pearl to Legends Arceus in mind, Lumio City will be undergoing those same changes in Legends ZA, but to a much greater extent, keeping in mind the changes to the plazas and the new streets mentioned earlier. While Pokemon X and Y do use a third person camera in Lumio City, the games clearly have a much more cartoonish style, taking note of the more chibi player models, reminiscent of earlier Pokemon games. Taking inspiration from Legends Arceus and the previous Pokemon titles Scarlet and Violet, Legends ZA will likely have a much more realistic art style, as well as a properly functioning third-person camera. If executed well, Lumio City will be massive, and it'll be the perfect playground for a new Legends title. The amount of Pokemon returning in Legends ZA is currently unknown, although there's a video on this channel discussing all of the Pokemon shown in the new trailer, as well as around 150 more Pokemon likely to return. Uh, to summarize, though a lot of Pokemon introduced in X and Y are shown, so we can assume most Kalos Pokemon are returning, as well as popular Pokemon from Kanto like Onix and Pinsir. Another feature returning from Pokemon X and Y is the mechanic of Mega Evolution, teased at the end of the first Legends ZA trailer. Mega Evolution is a mechanic that temporarily transforms a Pokemon into a stronger form of itself. Uh, I'm working on a really long video detailing the entire history and mechanics of Mega Evolution, so if you still want to know more, I would encourage you to subscribe. Currently, there are 46 Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, from Generation 1 Pokemon such as the Kanto Starters, to the Generation 6 Mythical Pokemon Diancy. Pokemon games typically spend around three years in development. In the same way that Scarlet and Violet started development around the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield, Legends ZA likely started development around the release of Pokemon Legends Arceus sometime between late 2021 and early 2022. This also means we can probably expect Legends ZA to release in January of 2025, uh, three years after Legends Arceus released in January 2022. Mega Evolution was likely decided upon, you know, very early in development. As Janichi Masada said in an interview from 2016, each time we make a new game, we think of a particular theme that would work well with that game. If a game comes up in the future that we think Mega Evolutions would work really well with, we'll certainly look into it. Ever since the mechanic was scrapped from 2019's Pokemon Sword and Shield, Game Freak have been perfectly open to reintroducing Mega Evolution, and it would have been really difficult for Game Freak to justify removing the mechanic 
from a game set in Kalos. There are a lot of rumors making the rounds at the moment claiming that Pokemon Legends ZA will introduce new Mega Evolutions, being the first game to do so since the Generation 3 remakes Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire released 10 years ago in late 2014. Rumors like these, however, shouldn't be entirely trusted or, or taken seriously since there is no substance to them as of now. Another popular rumor though is the introduction of new forms for Xerneas and Eveltal, the legendary Pokemon from X and Y. This would be in line with Pokemon Legends Arceus introducing origin forms for Palkia and Dialga, and many fans have theorized that the Kalos legendaries could receive their own origin forms, or you know, perhaps mega evolutions, or primal reversions, or even complete forms similar to Zygarde. Since it was a game set in Sinnoh's past, Legends Arceus had characters that were the ancestors of characters from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. The most obvious cases are Silene being Cyrus's ancestor, and Komodo being Professor Rowan's ancestor. Although it's not yet confirmed when Legends ZA takes place, uh, either before or after the events of Pokemon X and Y, it's likely that we will see this trend continue, either with ancestors or descendants of important characters from X and Y. We can expect to see an ancestor or descendant of Professor Sycamore, since he's the professor, he's a very important character, but we could also see an ancestor or descendant of the gym leader Clement and his sister Bonnie, since they reside in Lumio City and were also pretty important characters in the anime. Other likely candidates include an ancestor or descendant of Team Flare's leader Lysander, the Kalos champion Diantha, and an ancestor or descendant of the Shallow City gym leader Coroner and her grandfather, the Mega Evolution Guru. It's also possible that a fan favorite character from Pokemon X and Y could return in Legends ZA, this character of course being the immortal creator of the ultimate weapon, AZ. As of X and Y, AZ is over 3,000 years old and was condemned to wander forever, according to himself, so seeing him in a title set in the past or the future is quite likely. Legends Arcus also featured the very popular decision to give players permanent access to mythical Pokemon from Generation 4 instead of temporarily giving them away. This included the titular Arceus, as well as Manaphy and Fione, Shaman and Darkrai. If this idea is reintroduced in Pokemon Legends ZA, this would finally give players access to the three mythical Pokemon introduced in Generation 6. These Pokemon are Diancie, Hooper and Volcanion, as well as Diancie's Mega Evolution and Hooper's Unbound form. These Pokemon haven't been legitimately acquirable since their last distributions in 2016, 2018 and 2022 respectively, and have never been permanently available to be caught in game. Pokemon Legends Arceus featured three starter Pokemon returning from previous titles, being Rowlet, Cyndaquil and Oshawott. Many people have been trying to speculate what the starters for Legends ZA will be, and I actually have a video discussing the topic on this channel. Channel. We discuss Snivy's French origins and why Piplop might not be the water type starter for the game. Sorry, Piplop fans. <laughs> Click on the video on screen right now to watch.